Hello friends, neighbors, John your risky neighbor here. Welcome to the Nook and it's Sunday. So we're gonna shoot some samples and we're gonna shoot the balance of the samples that I got from the distributor here of Buzzard's Roost sipping whiskeys in Alberta. Today, I'm gonna to look at rye. it looks like. I've got uh, toasted barrel rye, barrel strength rye, and then we're gonna end it off with a peated barreled rye. So if you have any rye, I think it's a good, good thing to pour. These are all 95.5 from MGP, so anything in that line would be good. Even better, something from Buzzard Roost. See if what we taste together knows or is anything similar. As always, it's just tasting time. I can't rate little bottle samples. I can enjoy or not. I'll just let you know what I'm getting. So why don't you pour some rye and come on back. Three, four. Thanks for coming back. Uh, as I tried to say quickly in the opener, and I definitely said last week, look, these were sent to me. So right off the hop, I'm probably predisposed to like whiskey that's actually given to me. That said, I, I let Robert know and anyone who sends me whiskey, it's always gonna be my honest thoughts, always just my palate. Sometimes I'm gonna like stuff, sometimes I'm not going to, uh, but it's a fun journey. This Buzzard's Roost, I tried to share the story last uh, week uh, since then, I had some people tell me they are building a distillery. Either way, the name comes from uh, the road, Buzzard Roost Road, I believe, where they bought some land. And whether uh, the, I was going to say pub owner, is it a pub? Is it a, what, what is that on on a whiskey trail? Um, he definitely uh, releases this. Works with that independent uh, bottling, not bottling, uh, casking, barrel uh, construction company to make unique barrels. Uh, then they source liquid, which they think are great, and then age them in those casts. I need to correct myself. I got caught in a little bit of an imperial metric thing. Last week I said smaller barrels, 53 gallons. Well, they are 53 gallons, but that's a standard uh, barrel for bourbon. Um, around 50 liters is a quarter cask. And for some reason in my mind, when I saw the 53, I was thinking those small quarter casks. It's not, these are big barrels. Um, so let's start with, as I said, it's all rye up here. It's all 95.5 uh, and it all, is all treated in their unique uh, constructed barrel. So the first one is toasted barrel. So what I understand is these barrels are just toasted. Could be wrong but it's, uh, it's that nice 95.5 rye aged. This one's only three years in barrels that have only been toasted. So let's go in, it's time for whiskey, nose and taste. Boy, that's a nice, nice nose for a rye. It's not too peppery, it's not too lemony. Instead, I've got, you know, nice sweet vanillas, light toffees, light Werther toffee. Okay, there it's getting a little, it need to evolve a little bit. Now it's got a little backbone. Did I tell you? I think these are 105 proof. I think so, about 52.5%. So uh, it's still more um, light roasted, light almonds, some nice toffees in there. Yeah, there's more spice. Yeah, there's a bit more um, alcohol coming up now that I'm playing on it, but it still plays sweet and woody not overly woody just that's the notes let's try it on the palate cheers i enjoy rye and my reaction was a lot of the rye notes that i like um yeah it's it's nice and peppery and perky um and when I say grassy, I don't mean that in a negative way. It's got a, a really nice, um, no, all the ways to describe it make it sound, you know, young and piney and alfalfa driven. And that's, that's too far, but it has rye notes, rye bread. Um, yeah, rye bread. Maybe that's better because we, we like rye bread. We don't necessarily like rye grass. 
Um, so I would say some rye bread notes with the oaks. I'm so glad it came through in the palate because the nose really seemed like it was just going to go into kind of sweet bourbon territory. This is definitely a rye and a very tasty one. So after the toasted barrel, three-year-old, I'm going to try the barrel strength. But as I understand it, we went from 105 to I think 114. So it's a bump in proof for sure, about 57%. Uh, but it's it's not a huge bump in in strength. And this one, I believe, is four years and is a combination of barrels. At least that's how the, the description came to me. So not as clear as toasted only barrels. Uh, so some combination of custom barreling, four-year-old rye. Nose and taste. So while I am getting more ginger spice, I'm also getting more lemongrass on the nose. This is much sweeter. Uh, honeyed, toasted almonds, uh, roasted notes for sure. Whereas this is a little more punchy, a little more grassy. And a little more ginger. It's trial and palate. Cheers. This is more of an NGP rye unleashed. It's, it's definitely hotter. Uh, it's got a little more cinnamon hearts um, and, and a lot more uh, punchy rye. It's uh, It actually kind of reminds me of a cheaper rye, a little bit like that bullet rye. I know that's a disgrace to something that you pay a lot more for, but I mean, it's got, actually, I like bullet rye. It's got more hug. It's got more spice for sure. It's lighting up the sides of my tongue. A lot more presence than just a little bit more proof would let you let you think. Now, this, this is definitely rye rye. So... Whereas the toasted barrel had a lot of sweet honeyed oat coated note kind of things going on. And I think would have a broader appeal. It's got good rye core. I think rye drinkers will like it, but it's got other notes that will bring in a few more bourbon drinkers or, or a few more other thoughts. This is hot and this is probably be a monster in a cocktail or if you like big, bold, a little bit grassy ryes, this one's got it. Last where I want to talk to you today is this one that is peated. The way I read the description that came to me is it's um, they're straight ride. Don't know the entrance barrels and whatnot, whether it's a mix of some toasted, some just charred number one barrels. But then they take a new oak barrel and they smoke it over Scottish peat. Smoke it. I, I imagine it, it like how they pump the smoke in. I'm not sure or whether they build a big peat fire and hold the barrels over it. I really don't know, but it's that kind of thing where you infuse that peat smoke into the barrel and then they finish or, or re-age for a little bit the, the straight rye. So it's also four years. All of these are 95.5, but um, yeah, this one has that, that extra, extra treat. And I think it's back to the 105 proof or 52 and a half percent. So this, peated rye, nose and taste. It's a different nose than the previous two. This would have some caramelized brown sugars and something subtle. No peat for me on the nose yet. Nice punchy rye. That one's pretty close. It's not as far apart when I was comparing them directly, but a little sweeter. This one, there is something darker, but right now that's all it is. It's just darker, like I said, maybe caramelized sugars. Let's try it on the palate. Cheers. Kept that around in the palate longer than, than a, a regular sip to really try to get it to speak. It's pretty spicy. Darker cinnamon, though. It's got that something burnt sugars, burnt molasses, burnt spicing. Maybe a bit of leather. Still haven't, I still wouldn't say peat. Got to try it again. Cheers. I think I'm going to have to stay with uh, kind of where I am right now. It's a darker, uh, burnt down, cooked. More char is what I'm getting. Significant spice across the palate now. Um, so like from, from crack black pepper type 
spicing in with some hot cinnamon, but it, it's just cooked, s smoked, charred. I'm, I'm getting that. I'm told that perhaps uh, if I spend more time with it, the peat will come through. For me, that's actually a great way to see where a whiskey goes. Sometimes when you add peat, uh, like when you're actually, you know, peat drying the barley or peat drying, you know, it, it really has such a powerful influence. It can wipe out some of the essential flavors. That's not what I'm getting here. It'll take me some time to get to it. And if there's a description of peat for me on here, it is more that smoked campfire ash. It's not um, very green or very seaweed or briny. It's not bringing that kind of peat for my early pot. Actually, um, I would say my favorites, and these are just samples, really. I need to spend a lot more time with them to give you any kind of critical review. This toasted barrel rye caught my attention. It's got a really nice juxtaposition of honey sweetness but yet some good core rye bread, rye flavors going on in the middle. And this last one, that smoke, slight ash, tobacco, burnt molasses, also gives me a layer of richness. Nothing wrong with the middle one. It's a good rye, but it just didn't capture my interest as both of these two, and for different reasons. These are some pretty good sipping ryes. I, uh, I know that after these samples, I will be looking on the shelves to see when I'm going to bring one of the bottles home. Which one? Maybe the next uh, few minutes when I go off to edit this full detail. But uh, hey, you know, thank you, Robert, uh, distributor here for, for giving these my way. Oh, and there is another one. These six that I reviewed now are what we can buy in Alberta. But he snuck in a sample of a cigar rye which I definitely will be trying, not sure when, uh, but I want to give it its own time and, and space to, to appreciate. Although getting a sample like that, I know I can't buy it. Thanks for joining me here. Hope you guys had a great Sunday. I hope the work week ahead is just fantastic. Take care.